All right, YouTube, so what we're doing is we are doing the back brakes on a 1981 K5 Blazer 4x4. It's getting a, a little dark and a little cloudy, so I'm gonna try to rush this. I already got the tire off and under the frame over here. Just taking the drum off. And it is dirty. This side actually has a little bit of pads left. Very, very minimal, but the other side was completely bare. So, let's go ahead and get to it. The uh, inside of the rotor is smooth. So, I am using a tool. This is actually a pretty cool tool. On this side, it has a little, little notch in it so you can put it onto the actual bolt and have a spot to pivot. I use this to spread the uh, bottom to get the uh, adjuster in and this side over here is pretty good as far as um, removing the springs now I did order a spring kit for it but it's the wrong size so I'm gonna be reusing my spring just gonna wire brush them a little bit clean them up um, and on this one this thing is just completely covered in mud the right spring is the first one to come off and this side will be the second on the other side is kind of just flipped over, flip, vice versa. Let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera. There's literally just gobs of mud in here. And as I take them off, I'm going to set them to the side how they came off. literally just gobs of mud I have new lever adjuster for both sides um, so I'll be putting that on as well this side the lever adjuster this piece is curved in so it will be this kit that goes on so from AutoZone Duralast H2587 the guy over there labeled it as left which typically means driver's side which he clearly mislabeled so you always want to double check your parts and pieces <clears throat> the piece is going to go in there like this with the indention towards the truck and then the piece that holds it on will snap into here and then this will have the pieces for the lever springs 
Um, it looks like it comes with It looks like it comes with another spring for here, but it could be for another spring down here underneath. So, yes, for, before we get too far, that's kind of what we got down here. This is the uh, self-adjusting piece. This is the uh, the lever adjuster for that. You got spring here, spring here. These are the this one. And this one are the two springs that hold the entire brake pads on or brake shoes on. This is your cylinder, uh, wheel cylinder. When you hit the brakes, these come out. This is a piece that keeps everything in line. And then you get this top piece that keeps the pads from or shoes from moving forward or back. That's kind of a quick breakdown of what you're working with. And again, because I am going to be reusing these springs, you know, I'm just going to clean them up. So just be careful with them. This is covered in mud. When working with the uh, these pieces here, it, it is easier if you have the tool. But if you don't, you just get a pair of vice grips. And you can move the drip pan away since it's already evaporated. <clears throat> You're just gonna, the nail that goes through, you just put these on kind of light. You'll be able to push in and turn. through it's called a nail but it's kind of flat on one end and this piece covered with mud but basically this this will go through go in and you'll twist it and it'll sit in there to take it off you push the spring in twist it pull it back out Now they are two sides, two different size pads. This one's going to be the longer pad. This one will be the shorter, and this will be the short pad here. As you can see, the lip on this one and the lip on that one. And it'll take them off. I'll show you the they match lengthwise. There's a little clip that holds this piece on. And what I do is just get a pair of wire cutters or dikes or whatever you want to call them. And then get it on either side of the clip and use the back plate as your leverage. This thing is covered in mud. Just quick spray. Brake cleaner. There you go. 
goes. Now you gotta find it. There it is. This little clip here will line up to this piece here. Don't lose that. This is the piece I was telling you about. It's a little groove. The clip will, once you push it through, the clip just slides in there. It's like any other standard clip. And this is the adjuster. So when you hit the brakes, it automatically adjusts here. I bought new ones because I can't, if you cannot freely turn this, you definitely want to re replace it. And I'll show you on the knee pads to make sure you got the right ones on the front and back just line them up so that'd be the front so i'm gonna set that to the right back one set in like this line it up in the front lines up in the back there's actually a crack in this one here. I don't know if you can see that on the video. So, that's, uh, I don't know how this thing was stopping. Let's set this one to the left. And then just take all your pieces off. And again, if you cannot turn this piece freely, then you need to you had to replace it. It's $8.99 for the kit, but you get the entire level 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 spring uh, lever adjuster. Or if you can find it online, just that piece. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking you can just replace this one piece, but this one doesn't spin at all. As opposed to this one. freely all right so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit with my uh, little wire brush put my drip pan back underneath here spray some cleaner you can look inside here and see if there's any leaks which there's not so I'm not gonna replace the wheel cylinders I was telling you about it just slides in this this groove hoping this doesn't make too much of a glare it's starting to get a little dark out here there we go a little clips in it looks like there's a glare whenever I have that on, so I'm going to try to glue it off as much as possible. And on the top of the wheel cylinders, there is a little slit where this piece slides into that. So just be cautious of that. All right, so we got left side on. And also, I have pictures of the top and bottom. So always reference that.
So it's always good to have reference material because I did this wrong. This piece actually goes in. Goes in here. And it goes into there. And then it goes through all of this.
and all the pieces and I'm putting them back on I'm just making sure that they match All right, and this is where the the little notch comes into play. Basically, just want to line this up the best you can. There we go. Make sure the wheel cylinders are lined up. Make sure your metal piece back here is lined up. So the metal part in the back here is lined up, the well cylinder is lined up, this one's still in the outer, that's on the inner, that one's hooked up, your your spring down here for your lever is hooked up, everything's moving freely, you get your bottom spring hooked up, so all way I do now is just put the uh, adjuster in and the adjuster will go with this side towards the back right here into this little notch
that's how you do it. So on the adjuster, you want to close it all the way. Put your wheel cylinder on. And whatever you do, do not go in there and pump your brakes right now. Just to be able to spin freely. All right, and that's how you do a rear brake job. And again, um, the parts kits I ordered did not have uh, this piece here. Uh, the springs were way too short, uh, so I've just reused all my which springs. The, Adjuster lever kit. I got it from AutoZone. Uh, Dura last part number H2587 for the passenger side. The driver side is going to be, I think, 2586. Um, disregard that. That's what we got the floor put on there. <clears throat> Again, if your adjuster lever just does not turn freely, you can clean it up. Um, this thing has just basically been in the mud since probably the last 10 years, so I decided to just go ahead and replace it. Uh, wheel cylinder looked fine, it wasn't leaking. Um, so I'm going to put the tire on and lower the car, and hopefully everything's working right. <laughs> 